In this example, I will show you how to create Taguchi orthogonal array using seven variables and two levels for each variable. Now, if you run total eight experiments, then there are total seven degrees of freedom. So we can test up to seven effects. If I'm not interested in any interaction terms, then we can test seven distinct different variables or factors. Now, if we run eight experiments, we know that with two, two level for each factor, we can create a, a two to the power Q full factorial design first. So we can have up to three variable first. So I'm going to create one more row here. So if this is my factor A, factor B, and this is my factor C. Now we have seen this before, this base design in the uh, factorial design. So this is the full factorial of uh, three variables, two level each. Because we are running eight, so we have to create that base, base design. And then we're going to use this x1, x2, x3 as the generator for the rest of the variables, rest of the effects. Instead of a, b, c, d, e, f, it's easier to think column one, column two, column three, and all the way up to column seven, because Taguchi can go very long. So it's sometimes often easier to explain and understand if you just uh, number them. So it's easy to say row number one, row number two, column two, column three, like that. Now the way these um, rest of the variables or factors are generated from the basic ABC, the rule is the linear combination. This is not something new. We have done this before in the openeducator.com. There was a, um, I'm going to bring it here. If you go to the openeducator.com, so under the blocking and confounding, uh, this is the linear combination method we talked about. Uh, it's the exact same uh, process. So here, this is the uh, rule. So just you just multiply with combination of this variable A, variable B, and variable C, and then their coefficient uh, like that. Now, because we have only three variables here, so the linear combination rules is like this. Now, this is the base two cube design. So all the rest of the variables are are generated from this base two cube design. You know, um, is there is a systematic way we can easily uh, grasp this. Look at this. Uh, this is for x one. A is for x one. B is for x two, and C is for x three. If you try to visualize these, A, A, B, A, C, B, C, A, B, C. So in a way, they can be viewed as uh, these rest of the variables are created uh, with the combination of the interaction effects. Now, we don't have to think that. We can simply use this linear equation and then find out the coefficient from there. So this is the coefficient A column. Uh, this is coefficient A column, coefficient B column and then coefficient um, sorry coefficient a2 column and coefficient a3 column so this is the basic design for the two cube now column one if you have all zeros there coefficient zero 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 nothing existed so it's not really useful to create uh, the new uh, factors so now look at column one so a1 coefficient value is one a20 a30 so if you plug all this number in this equation, this is what you get, x1. As you can see, column 1 is the variable a or factor a, which is x1. Now if you look at this coefficient, only a2 has 1, rest of them 0. So 0, 0, and this x2 only left here. If you look at this, then it's the interaction of a plus b. So let's create that. So column 3 is basically interaction of A and C in a linear combination the interaction so it's basically you just add them this plus this and then copy all the way down now there is no 2 so when it goes so it, it cycles between 0 1 1 so 2 is basically 0 2 is 0 like that now column 5 Column 4 is C, as you can see here, uh, 0, 0, 1, only x3 left. Column 5 is A and C. So x1 plus x3, x1 
plus x3 is this not column look at this so then copy this down and then column 2 is 0 again and then column 6 is the interaction of BC B plus C so you can say equal to uh, this is my B plus C is the column 4 and copy down so I get 2 there is no 2 so replace that with 0 and then the last column is the interaction of all of them so x1 plus x2 plus x3 or a plus b plus c copy all the way down 2 is 0 again 2 0 2 0 3 is 1 so this is the Taguchi um, LA 2 to the power 7 design now you could use just simply keep it as column or you can name this with different variables like this a b c d e f g and so on however most of the software has basic Taguchi design like Minitab um, textbook has this uh, orthogonal arrays so you probably don't have to create one you just have to choose the one that you want to use however if you have to do it you can follow this and video will be up forever so you can follow that instruction there too